Heart stents open blocked arteries and restore blood flow. They can also help support weak arteries and keep them open. Stents are implanted during a common procedure called angioplasty. During this procedure, the doctor threads a thin, flexible tube with a balloon or similar device on the end through a blood vessel to the narrow or blocked artery. After stenting, patients are put on a blood thinning medication to prevent clots in the stent. The problem comes when patients taking these drugs have to have heart surgery. Cardiologist Eric Topol sums up the dilemma. The stakes are really high once a stent's been placed uh, in the artery of the heart. And if a, if a stent clots, it either results in, in a heart attack or the patient dying. Dr. Topol is the director of the Scripps Translational Science Institute. He co-authored a study involving 200 patients who had heart stents and who needed open heart surgery. Half the group was given a placebo. The other half received a medication called Cangrelor, which patients receive intravenously. We were testing to see whether or not we could inhibit their platelets, which are the cells that form a blood clot. Cangrelor's anti-clotting property loses effect within a few hours, so it can be discontinued just prior to surgery. Well, the results were pretty striking. Uh, on the side of being able to inhibit clotting, uh, we were able to do that in all the patients virtually with this uh, medicine, Cangrelor, as compared to the placebo. That little needle stick again, okay? Not only were the patients able to have surgery sooner, Dr. Topol says, but they didn't have any trouble with bleeding. So now we have a intravenous medication that was tested, which can be used in those days between stopping the oral medications and actually undergoing the major operation. A report on the successful trial of the new anti-clotting drug Cangrelor appears in the Journal of the American Medical Association. Carol Pearson, VOA News.